अब हमारे पास दूसरे हैं जुबैर जुबैर प्लीज आइएगा क्लैपिंग हो जाए जुबैर की अच्छा जुबैर आपको जरा इंट्रोडक्शन करवा दें जब तक ये आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन ओपन होगी अस्सलाम वालेकुम अंत लेगा बारे में आपको हूं भाई वालेकुम अस्सलाम माय नेम इज जुबैर एंड आई एम स्टडीइंग इन एसएमआईटी एज वेल एज आई एम अ स्टूडेंट फॉर सेकंड ईयर आई एम 17 इयर्स ओल्ड एंड हियर आई एम प्रेजेंट टू शो माय टू बेस्ट वेबसाइट Weather website and quiz that time. So let's get started. Please proceed. So my agenda for the present of my present is to share my weather website and my quiz that time. Proceed. Please. What is weather website? A weather website is a website that shows the user the current data. So, the weather website is a website that shows the user the weather and the temperature. The weather website shows the users the temperature and the weather. The weather website is a website that shows the user the weather and the temperature or the current location and that of city and the country that the user search. Please proceed next. The technology that I use in building the website are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, and Notify. Let me give you a brief description about the technology. HTML. It is stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is also known as the basic structure of the web page. CSS. CSS stands for Cast Style Style Sheet, which is used to add modification and add styles to your website. JavaScript. It is a programming language that promotes the functionality into your website. That attracts the users. Bootstrap and Notify are the libraries. Bootstrap gives us navigation bars, form inputs, buttons, and much more. Whereas the Notify gives us animation videos. Proceed next. When the users open the link, a pop-up is shown to the users, which asks the permission of the user to access their current location. Proceed next. Here I have used Notify loaders to load for my data. Proceed next. When the users give the permission the system to access their current location, so the temperature, the name of the city, the current date, and the weather is shown to their data. Uh, proceed next. Furthermore, it also shows the humidity, pressure, and wind, which are very accurate. Proceed next. I have given an uh, option for the user of the search bar. The user is allowed to search the weather and temperature of any city or any country. Proceed. So, when the weather is changed, also the background images are also changed according to the weather. For example, if the person or the user search any city or different, so the temperature also change 
and with the temperature and the weather, the images are also being manipulated. Along with the background images, the weather icons are also changing according to the weather. So, the golden point of my website is, is that this website is completely responsive. That it means when the users open this website into large devices, medium devices, or small devices, there will be no alarming issues. It is as perfect as this is looking now. The things that I learned by implementing the website is API integration. I learned how to fetch data and how to vent it from my web page. Secondly, I learned how to get current data, current location from the user by asking to give information. I also you I also learned how to add a search option. By the search option, the user can search the temperature of an individual country. I have learned how to manipulate the images according to the weather. Yeah, this is my second website, which is quiz website. This quiz website allows the teacher to take quiz and exams for the student or the subject, choose them, and it also shows the result at the end of the quiz. The technologies I use while building the website are the same, but only different is the local storage. I have used local storage here. Local storage gets the different storage. To show the so, when the user opens the website, uh, the digital form is shown to the user, where the user can create his user account. After creating an account, a user can log in uh, log in uh, uh, account by creating uh, the login form. It is also completely validated. It means that when the user type wrong email, it shows an error that user is not registered. So see next. Here is an example of it. I have used Sweet Alert to show an error. It also shows the method of the reason why the user get the error. So see next. After login, the user moves the dashboard where the quizzes are shown to the user of the particular subject. After the, after the dashboard on the header, there is a negative navigation bar, which gives two options, a result and a dog. Uh, under the header, there are written three uh, quiz names. The, when the user clicks on any quiz, the quiz starts. In terms of styling, the whole color changes when the user. Uh, I hope you all like it. 